In this video, I'll be showing you how to change the location of the fault cache for the Epic Games Launcher. As you can see, I'm currently trying to install something to my computer, and it's telling me that I do not have enough disk space. And that's because my C drive is very small. I don't really have a lot of disk space on my C drive. So you can actually change the location of the fault cache in the Epic Games Launcher. And to do this, all you need to do is press OK to the install failed message that you currently have. You then need to go to settings in the bottom left hand corner. And you now need to scroll down and you will then see edit fault cache location. You now need to click onto this option. And you can then select browse. And you can now choose a new location for your fault cache. So as you can see at the moment, my C drive is selected. I'm actually going to make my G drive the new location for my fault cache, which means I need to select my G drive and I then need to right click and go new and create a new folder. And I'm now going to call this Epic Games and then fault cache. You can then go ahead and press enter and then open up the folder and you then need to click on select folder. As you can see, the new folder is now selected, which means I can go ahead and press apply. And there you go, that's how you change the fault cache location for the Epic Games Launcher. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click on that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.